Hi Sagittarius, here's a general look at your solar chart for February 2012. Now this month you'll probably have a lot going on um, in your head. You might have lists, you might have plans and ideas and sharing information um, and gathering information and sourcing information and just running around more um, uh, in your head or actually physically as well which is sort of kind of your thing really although it can, it can make you feel a bit scattered perhaps at times so just be aware of that until uh, mid months you've got mercury um, in a very busy mercury orientated area of your chart that might mean more paperwork more time spent on the phone maybe um, reading stuff reading instructions information uh, directions, just maybe communications equipment as well, just getting your head around things, comparing, uh, weighing, judging. Um, some of this mental energy may be um, used uh, working out uh, um, uh, travel plans um, and, and, and a lot of sort of compa comparison, you know, your head becomes like a comparison site maybe. Um, so just try to avoid um, losing your centre, getting a bit nervous because that is a saggy thing sometimes with too much mercury energy um, around. We can get a little bit nervy. Um, any of the signs can get nervy with too much mercury, but particularly Sagittarius because your opposite sign is a mercury sign. That's Gemini. So that's your soft underbelly. Um, and just... Um, being uh, aware of that so that you can uh, take time to just kind of realign um, yourself and, t and touch y your center um, and, and don't get too much into the sort of the stressing thing which can happen with um, mercury sometimes uh, so um, taking time to just go still and, and, and drop that baggage I suppose would be a tip that I'd like to give and perhaps like to uh, take up myself. Uh, from mid-month uh, then Mercury moves uh, to the root of your solar chart and the indication is that there's likely to be still this information exchange but more you'll be thinking more inwardly, you'll be feeling things, sens sens sensing things more, feelings being a bit nearer service. Um, but there could be um, discussions and ideas flying around, you know, right, and meetings as well. Um, a lot come, going on in the home um, or in the neighborhood. Uh, it could be like that. Or it could be related to a home or a neighborhood, like a property type matter. Um, it could also be centered around family members or extended family or some kind of community where there are the... Um, interchanges, the connecting, the gathering information, the, the, the sharing ideas, the bouncing ideas off e each other. Um, it also points to more comings and goings perhaps within the locality, um, more happening from home or from a base of operations. doesn't necessarily have to be home. Um, and another way it can work it, it, it is, is that you are connecting with people um, over the wires from home. Uh, now, there's going to be a, a very warm, sociable energy flooding into the root of your solar chart until the 8th. Um, and this can um, just make uh, the home space or maybe relations within the neighborhood, within the family, just more friendly and, and, and just um, more um, um, peaceful, really. And, in fact, if there has been an ongoing um, problem, then that perhaps would be a time to settle that problem. Um, but also, it can work in another way, where it just means that you're appreciating the conditions around you wherever you happen to be. Uh, might be to do with your home space, but it might just be to do with who you're hanging out with, where you happen to be if you are away from home. Um, or it can mean that there's better relationships between you and, uh, um, and other members of your tribe or your family. And, and some of you just might want to be beautifying your space in some way or looking to make improvements. Another way it can work is that you are hosting others in your space um, or being the visitor in somebody else's space. So it's just a kind of this friendly, sociable feeling on, on the home base um, and then from the 8th that changes 
a little bit um, that becomes more spontaneous and playful and fun orientated and even romantic for some of you um, hints that uh, daily encounters um, um, and relationships are going to have a real a kind of enthusiasm with them or an entertaining quality with them and perhaps not every day but um, more likely to be from the 8th onwards that you have more access to, to, to a more fun orientated or entertaining environment in some way. It could be in a very quiet, low-key way with children or something that you just like to do which makes you feel good. It might be work, but it might be the kind of work that you really enjoy that gives you a sense of power. Um, uh, it can be to do with promotional activity. It can also be to do with speculative activity as well, where you're taking a bit of a, a risk, a bit of a gamble, or you're thinking of doing so. So in general, uh, from there, um, it, you just get more access to experiences or, in, or encounters which are potentially empowering for you, that make you feel more valued, that put you at the centre of attention. It could be, you know, admiring glances being exchanged between you and someone, or it could be that you are into some sort of leisure activity or hobby activity that you really enjoy, you really get a lot out of. Um, and um, uh, there could be more interaction with children or animals at this time as well. Now Mars is in a, this very long transit um, and for you it's in a very public sector of your chart and it's going to be there until July so it can work in a, in a few ways. Um, it, it's, it's, it's in an area which is to do with your overall life direction Sagittarius um, and, and Mars is a real um, fire starter energy you know it, it, it wants to be active it don't, doesn't like sitting down twiddling its thumbs it wants to initiate it wants to do it it doesn't want to wait so um, this is a time when you could very much be more of a self starter where your career is concerned um, more dynamic regarding life targets you know you are the archer you need a target you are the archer you need to aim at a target um, when you don't have a target, you know, a Sagittarius it can be a very sort of sad little centaur when it doesn't have a target. So you need a target. Um, and this is a time with Mars here over these many, many months when you should really be um, deciding, you know, what is that target, where that bullseye is, and then just steady your aim and let fly. Um, you know, who knows? <laughs> but make the decision and do it. Um, and also, it's not just about professional stuff, it's about your general life direction, you know, where on the compass are you heading now? Um, and uh, it, it can be in your personal life, you know, things are taking off or potentially could take off. And again, with Mars here, um, this can be a period when you get clarity and you make pivotal decisions. I mean, absolutely, you know, once made, the bridge has been crossed. Um, uh, and you make a really, you take a clear reading of a heading that you, that, that, that you are going towards. Um, now, having said all that, actually Mars is retrograde this month <laughs> and over March, and it doesn't take away what I've said, it just might mute it and slow it down. So um, it's going to be retrograde until April, which indicates that this is a time when you shouldn't expect huge uh, dramatic leaps forward uh, and winning the whole war as it were and everything kind of coming into focus um, just be satisfied with um, you know perhaps achieving victory over some smaller skirmishes or achieving smaller targets on your way to that target that you still got your eye on um, and uh, just see that as good enough, you know, um, and uh, don't be too stubborn uh, ab about holding a position on something um, and saying, well, it's all or nothing, um, because it might not be a wise thing to be doing over March, uh, sorry, over February, March. But from April, things should start to come together and you may be find yourself putting physical effort, actually, you know, through the sweat of your brow, brow and achieving um, certain ambitions um, which are leading towards that target that, that you see you know, in, in your future. Remember the transit is on until July. So overall this transit of Mars could urge you to um, get clear about where you're headed, 
um, and what you stand for um, and being more showing more authority and being more dynamic with that authority in your life and taking your responsibilities more seriously um, to yourself to others but also it's about image it's about presentation it's like standing um, becoming proactive regarding those things um, and also working quite hard to impress certain people favorably though you might find that you you're having more interaction with bureaucracy and red tape and those sorts of people in so-called authority over us all so um, try to play it down if you start to feel you know frustrated uh, because Mars has is very short has very short fuse uh, wherever Mars is can make us feel um, like um, you know a bull in a china shop you know I mean you just want more immediate results wherever Mar Mars is so just be aware of that as well and um, play it cool um, and maybe have to play a little bit of a longer game over February and March with authority figures parents or others in so-called positions of power um, um, so and just don't, don't be too hasty and you you will make progress with the master plan that is where Mars is that's what Mars is well, that's what Mars's drive and initiative is going to help you with over these many months um, and um, some of you will be having quite a robust interaction <laughs> um, with those who, um, like bosses maybe, or people connected to um, employment or to our um, professional, um, the pro professional side or the more public side of our life um, than those in charge. But also with Mars here, you've got to show that you are capable and you are in charge, you're, in, you're competent, you, you're... You, you, you're building a reputation. This is a brilliant transit for building that image, that presentation, that reputation. Absolutely brilliant. So, um, and it's a very rare transit, Mars, so long in one place. Um, and from the 19th, um, the sun will move then, and that for you will mean the mental pace will slow down. Um, you'll be more inward looking then, and the focus will probably be more upon the home base or a base of operations, family, tribe, community. Now, I usually speak about the slow moving out of planets, but I'm not going to do that because actually you can go to my website and you can read the copy on that because it's always written down there. Or you can listen to the, the, the forecast for 2012 for your sign. But I am going to mention Neptune. Um, and every month I will be mentioning something that I think is appropriate. I mean... You've got Jupiter, your ruling planet, in Taurus at the moment, which, again, bodes very well for expanding into new areas with your work, your skills, the type of work you do, and, and learning through doing, learning through doing. It's, it's hugely important for you to be you know, thinking outside of your box and learning through doing um, at the moment, and also um, getting any health problems straightened out as well. But I'm going to mention Neptune. Um, since 1998, Neptune has been making its influence felt in your communications area and also in the area to do with how your mind works and um, how sensitive your awareness is and it has been sensitizing your awareness and making you appreciate subtleties in what you see your sign is very strongly the sign of I see you are a seer literally with the physical eyes but also with the third eye um, and Neptune has really been sensitizing that within you. You may have become more intuitive over this time, um, more imaginative. Some of you may have gone into training in like psychic development, um, counseling, uh, because Neptune is about um, empathy and sympathetic lis listening to others, training in healing maybe, developing yourself through artistic pursuits as well. And um, at times as well, because Neptune is about muddles um, and confusions, you may have been deluded by others who've given you, you know, a bum steer, false information, or deluded yourself, you know, just pretended to yourself and, and, and deceived yourself, like we all do sometimes, um, and, and, and just kind of built a kind of a fantasy about somebody or something which wasn't the reality. Well, this is all going to be changing now. Um, also, another thing about Neptune there is the lives of siblings may have been through uncertain times, or you might, might have lost touch or got the wrong end of the stick or been confused about them and they're confused about you in some way. 
um, or their lives have been in confusion um, and they haven't been reliable um, uh, or um, uh, yes that, that sort of feeling but definitely during this time of Neptune here some of you would have developed yourself in those spiritual ways um, mystical ways musical ways poetic ways and definitely through meditation and meditation may have been an interest now Neptune is sliding out of that area having done its work um, and it's not going to be such a, a highlighted area and it's going to be going into the, its own sign Pisces um, on the 4th of February and it's going to be there until two, 2025 I think um, so this new position of Neptune um, will mean a more di idealized or perhaps serene home environment a, a more of a sanctuary sort of feeling there um, um, there's lots of ways it can work it can mean confusion a little bit of confusion uh, uh, around family um, or an, an uncertain feeling about where you really belong within family or with a community I mean there's always a flip side to every one of the planetary energies you know an in tune note and, and an off key note and it's up to us how we respond to the energies um, so it can be um, you know well, who do I really belong with where do I re really belong um, but actually Neptune ruling water means that if you are anywhere near water you're probably going to be um, uh, a feeling that you are in the right kind of energy zone anyway as long as it's not damp uh, which you can actually be you can have problems with damp or gas actually with Neptune here but I'm sort of jumping ahead because Neptune is only just nudging into the first part of the first degree in February and it won't be um, um, uh, very far in over the whole of 2012 and it's going to be there for many years but it can mean that your, your, your home space or you make a space in your home space which is like a sanctuary which is like, a, like a, a special private area for doing whatever you want to do or in fact it provides a space for others it's a, it's a place of shelter it's a place of sanctuary or a, like a retreat in some way for others and there's this feeling of a sort of a mystical energies um, so perhaps some of you will be getting interested in earth energies and, and actually picking up on the vibe of, of different places as well. So it can work in various ways. But anyway, that, that's kind of the astrological news for this month. Um, and um, that's it for February. If you know your rising sign and your moon sign, try and listen to those two and see if um, you can make sense of them and if they're helpful. And I will see you the next time.